And of course, we have to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo for two different reasons. The first one, Portugal, I mean, smashed literally to Switzerland, right? Uh, without Cristiano Ronaldo. So Fernando Santos uh, did the right thing when he put him on the bench. As you know, the other day he was replaced and, uh, and, uh, and he got nuts, right? When he was coming off the pitch, he said like, you're rushing to, to replace me, right? I mean, he was nuts. Fernando Santos didn't like what he said, right? And the next decision was to put him on the bench. And unfortunately for Cristiano Ronaldo, his teammates did a great job, fantastic job, right? 6-1 and now they are in the quarterfinal and nobody really, I mean, a lot of people out there think Portugal doesn't need at all right doesn't need at all to Cristiano Ronaldo anymore so let's see what happens but um, as far as I am concerned Cristiano Ronaldo as far as the transfer market said no to Al Nasser okay the guy was asked about that and all the rumors that we've been talking about over the last days that he got a deal with Al Nasser right the offer was there but the player apparently has said no or has denied the rumors right or just he doesn't want to talk about that he just want to wait for the world cup to uh come to an end right to talk but before the final before the elimination the potential elimination from portugal man of portugal i don't think he's going to say anything he's not going to say anything he will wait for the end of the world cup and then he will talk right but for now nothing of that is going to happen so let's see right how this change uh, how this thing uh evolves right over the next days but my opinion is he got the offer and he'll probably accept it but let's see